Okay, good morning everybody. My name is Nathan Taylor. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. This course is Intermediate Accounting 1, Accounting 301. This is the fall term 2020. So you can see here, my name is Nathan Taylor. You see all my information here. My email address is ntaylor at bluefieldstate.edu. I see my, my phone number for my office here, 304-327-4082. My office is Mahood, room 211. Office hours, Monday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Wednesdays and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I also will hold virtual office hours on Wednesdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. The, CR, the CRNs for this course, um, the online section is 12534. The lecture, the end class section is 12488. Um, meetings will be limited to 30 minutes for that day when if a student comes into the office. If That is, if, if there's someone waiting, I have no problem to, to spend a little more time if, if people need it, unless, unless there is other students that need it, to be, to be fair. Um, and other hours are by appointment and one week in advance, and advising by appointment only. So the catalog description of the course is financial reporting for business enterprises under GAAP. Um, GAAP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Everyone should know that from their principles course, but if not, there it is. The review of the theoretical foundations of financial concepts and reporting and their practical application to accounting procedures. Emphasis is on income and expense measurement, asset and liability measurement, and accounting for owner's equity. The prerequisites for the course is Accounting 202, so Principles of Accounting 2. The meeting time, this class is going to meet on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 8.50 a.m. in Mahood, room 208. Uh, the lecture is going to be recorded for students to view outside of class and for students in the, inline, or the online section. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here and think that if you're in the in-class section, that the, the video is being recorded is so that you do not have to come to class because that is not the case. If you are registered for the in-class section, then you're required to be in class and we'll be observing the college's attendance policy. And we'll, we'll, touch, we'll touch on that more when we get, get a little deeper into the syllabus here and get to the part with the course policies. The materials that, that you're gonna be needing for the course is only the textbook. The text is Intermediate Accounting, Reporting and Analysis. It's the third edition. The ISBN is 978-133-778-8281. Now just remember, the ISBN is the, is the most important part here. This, this ensures that you're getting the correct text. The authors are Wallen, Jones, and Package. Package, sorry, I can't if I mis mispronounce your name, but those are the authors. Main thing here is the ISBN number. Um, and in terms of where you, where you get the text, I, I really don't care where you get it as long as you can get it in a timely in a timely manner. Um, I would I would try to shop around and find it for as, as cheap as I could. Um, like I said, as long as you can get it in a timely manner, I'm, I really I really don't care where you where you get your text from as long as it's the correct one and in a timely manner. Um, once again, I want to point out that we're not going to be using Cengage My Lab for this course. I have used these in previous courses that I've taught. Um, however, I'm, this this semester I'm choosing to do things a little differently, and, and I'm not going to be using that. I'll be posting the homeworks and quizzes um, through Moodle, so everything's going to be done through Moodle. That's why the only requirement is to have the text. And obviously, without the My Lab from Cengage, the online component of it. We will be using the text more heavily than, than probably if, if we would be using the My Lab. So it is important that you get this text as a lot of the homework assignments will be, pulled, will be pulled directly from the back of that those relative chapters that we cover. Now the grading for this course is the grading scales, the, your standard college grading scale. 90 to 100 percent is going to be an A, 80 to 89 percent is a B, 70 to 79 percent is a C, 60 to 69 percent is D and anything below 60 percent will be an F. The grading scale will be based upon the following instruments. There will be three exams. The first exam at 25 percent, exam two at 25 percent of your grade, exam three at 25 percent of your overall grade, 
Quizzes will be 15% of your overall grade. Homework will be 10% of your overall grade. There will be extra credit available in the course, but that, that will be announced at a, at a later date during the semester. So just be on the lookout for that. Students' proficiency in the course is measured as follows. You can see A is excellent, B is good, C is satisfactory, and so on and so forth. You can read through this on your own time. So activities. So I just want to point out, this is, this is really just an outline of where I expect this to be as, as we progress through the semester. However, please note that the dates below are contingent upon the progression of the semester. Um, each class is unique and sometimes an extra day or so is needed to master the material. But when the item says it is due, I will not accept it after that date. So just keep that in mind. And we'll, we'll, touch, we'll touch base on that policy again as we move down this course syllabus and, and get into the course policies. So to start off with, for the first week, August 13th to the 19th, you can see we have the introduction to the course is what, what we're doing here. Um, read lecture chapter one, chapter one homework, chapter one quiz. Um, I want to go ahead and just jump over to our Moodle show real quick and just, just explain a few things as I've, I've received some emails from some students out of confusion of, of what's going on in the Moodle show. So let's go ahead and just jump over here. So here we are, we're in Moodle now, the Intermediate Accounting 1. You can see here at the top it's labeled. Um, I posted this the other day just so you have, have my information before, before the syllabus was available. Here is the link for the syllabus, so please make sure everyone read this before starting coursework, even though we're going over it today. It never hurts to read through it, so you just make sure you understand what's expected of you and, 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 and what, what's expected of me as, as your teacher. Um, so if you click on this, it'll, it'll pop up for you. Here we are in week one, August 13 through August 19. And if you can see here, if you see the little, the little, the little tabs here, it looks a lot like what's on, on your syllabus here. So pretty much they just go verbatim. You can see here on, on the layout of the course. So all this is, you know, you can't, can't click on any of these. They're not a link like this link here because this is just an outline. This is just to give you an idea of what's going to take place that week. So I've had a lot of students send me emails talking about, they, you know, I'm clicking on the chapter one homework, but nothing's coming up. That's, well, that was, that was intentional. This is just an outline. Um, later, once, once the homework and the quiz is available for students to attempt, you will see it down here on a link. And right here, you can actually see the shells here. This is hidden from you on your course. So all you're seeing on your side is just this and the chapter one PowerPoint and then the introduction link. So once, once, I, once I go ahead and create these assignments, you will see them on your end and then you just click on them and then just, just go about your assignment as, as, you, as you would um, or as, as you're used to is if, if you have experience or if you're familiar with Moodle or if not, then it'll be just like the PowerPoint. How you click on the PowerPoint, it pops up, same thing, the link for the homework will be. So don't worry, nothing's available yet. I will make sure that everyone's notified once it is posted. Um, more on the introduction to the course. Each student is going to be, be responsible for this introduction form. Um, you need to introduce yourself to the class. For example, your name, where you're from, and what your personal interests are, your hobbies, whatever, whatever it is you like. Um, every student in the class, both the online section and in-class sections, are to post to this discussion form by no later than 8-22-20. So, August 22nd, 2020, which I believe is next Saturday, you have till 11.59 p.m. to get it in. Um, this this will not count towards your grade, so um, really you don't you don't need any any of the material to be able to do so for this. Really, what what the purpose of this this introduction is is to let us kind of break the ice and get to know each other a little bit, learn a little bit about one another, and um, also the the main thing is is because financial aid is doing a check here. They're they're checking in to, to make sure students are coming to class and are keeping up with their work before they, they make the disbursement of financial aid. So if you need your financial aid, or in order to even stay in the class, um, they're, they're really on top of us on the, on the attendance and making sure you're staying on, on, top of your, on top of your assignment. So please, it's imperative that everyone does this introduction. Once again, it, it will only take you a few minutes. I'm, I'm not really looking for much. It's really just to track you down and make sure you're doing it. <clears throat> and obviously, the chapter one homework and chapter one quiz will not be due, I believe, until August 28th. So um, I'll, 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 I'll touch base on that more on Monday. So really the main thing you need to worry about now is get your textbook, make sure it's the correct one, 
and do your introduction forum post, which which should not just to just take a, uh, just a second. You do not need to respond to anyone else's post. Just just post your your little introduction, and that'll be that. Okay, so now let's jump back to the course syllabus for a minute. <clears throat> So once again, this is just an outline. What you see here week to week will be the same outline that you see within Moodle week to week. And once again, this is just to, just to give you an understanding of, of where we're at in the course, okay? And, and just where we hope to stay on track with. So you can see week one, we, do, um, we read lecture chapter one, chapter one homework, chapter one quiz. Same thing for chapter two, we'll take a little homework, a little quiz. Um, these quizzes are not gonna be real long, not a lot of questions. Uh, depending on the format, that could be, you know, short answer, a little, a little bit of a comprehensive problem, or even multiple choice. They'll be short, only 10, 15 minute quizzes, so nothing, nothing really long. But it will be testing your, you know, your knowledge to make sure that you're comprehending what's been being being gone over in course, or in in the lectures. Sorry, and the homeworks are not going to be really long and cumbersome either. They, they will be comprehensive. They, they might take you a little bit of a time to, to attempt them, but I'm not gonna bog you down with just a bunch of busy work. I just, I don't see the need in doing that. Um, I feel time can be better spent learning the material um, and doing a comprehensive problem that, that covers all the bases. Um, so once again, you can see chap chapter three for the week of August 27th through September 2nd. We'll have a little homework and a quiz and so on and so forth, just, just moves on on the same same song and dance pretty much as we go. Um, on the 10th through the 16th, we'll, we'll have chapter five and a time value and money module. Same thing, chapter five homework, chapter five quiz. I'm not gonna have a quiz on the time value and money module. However, it will be, it will be tested on exam one. This week we'll have a little exam one prep to kind of just catch everyone up to speed in case there's any content that people are just tend to be struggling with or whatever whatever the issues might be to make sure everyone's going to perform well on the exam. Um, exam one will cover chapters one through five and the time value of money module. Then you can see here the week of the 24th through the 30th of September we'll be doing chapter six with a little homework and quiz. Same thing for the first through the seventh of October, chapter seven homework quiz. Chapter eight on this week the week of the 15th through the 21st, we'll do nine with a little homework and a quiz. Uh, the next week, the October 22nd through the 28th, we'll have the exam two prep and then exam two, which will cover chapters six through nine. Then uh, we'll get into chapter 10, have a little homework and a quiz. I wanna point out this is a pertinent date here. Very important to keep it in mind. Friday, November 6, 2020 is going to be the last day to drop the course with a W or withdrawal from the college. So just keep that in mind and it'll be in the syllabus here just as a reminder and it's in red so it stands out to you so no one no one forgets that date if it if it's um, applicable to them if, it, if they would have to withdraw and ho hopefully no one will not have to withdraw. Next you can see the 5th through the 11th of November, chapter 11, a little homework and quiz. And then you can see here we'll end it up with chapter 12 will be the last chapter that we, we cover hopefully. And that'll be through the Week of the 12th through the 18th of November, we'll, we'll do our little exam three, the final exam prep, and then finals week here, which is a little different this semester, a little compressed due to COVID. Um, so the week of the 19th to the 25th will be the finals week, and you see exam three is our final exam, and that is only going to cover chapters 10 through 12, so no comprehensive exam, only only what we've covered since since the latest exam from exam two, so that's a good thing, no comprehensive exams. Um, and then you can see here, obviously, we're gonna be on winter break from that point forward. Some of the policy statements, live text, this is important. I'll be assessing the students at the end of the semester on live text, so everyone needs to make sure that they have an active live text account set up. Um, so you can you can read through this and, and and move forward with that. If you have any issues, just give me a shout, and I'll be more than happy to try to help you out here. But to my understanding, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. University policies with academic academic honesty. Everyone needs to make time to read this. Uh, it is in the in the syllabus. I'm not going to sit down here and read it right now, as everyone can read it. Um, I will read my specific penalties. It pretty much sums up what this is. This. This just gives you an idea of what plagiarism is and what cheating is. Um, my specific penalties that relate to plagiarism and cheating 
is that accounting is a profession that requires a strong ethical foundation. And I will not tolerate any form of cheating. I just, I just will not, I just will not tolerate it. Um, offenders will be dealt with according to Bluefield State's academic honesty policy. So students can refer to the student handbook if, if they need to for that. Drops and withdrawals, dropping courses. So everyone needs to read through this in case they need to would have to drop or withdraw from the course. So remember the pertinent date up at the top, I believe it was November 6. So just keep that in mind. Special accommodations, any student who is ill or who has developed medical conditions, including but not limited to illness, physical or other disability or pregnancy, must notify the health services immediately. Um, anyone with an ADA accommodation, um, students with documented disabilities, you can call contact the Office for Student Support Services at 304-327-4098. And they are located in the Basic Science uh, Building in Room 113. So they, they can accommodate you with um, reason, reasonable accommodations if, if needed. So next are classroom conduct. Cell phones must not be used in the classroom for any reason. All cell phones must be stored during class time. Students need to bring calculators to class and not use cell phones as calculators. If you are a first responder and need to take an important call during class time, just please keep your phone on vibrate. And you don't need to say anything to me. If it's an emergency, just get up, take your call, but just get up quietly, exit the room, do what you need to do, and then just come on back in. Um, please just anyone, you know, don't don't make a habit of just getting up and exiting and coming back and forth between the room. If you if you got to use the bathroom or something, I understand. You know, we're all we're all grown ups here. Um, just just be courteous of of your fellow classmates and and of your instructor, as it could be dis disruptive. Um, students should raise their hand before just just blurting out in the class. You know, to, just to keep some order within the classroom. Um, contact hours, my office hours, once again, they were listed in the above information, but a student can email me or leave a message on my office phone at any time. Email is going to be the most preferred and quickest mode of, of communication for you. Um, so anytime you have questions or want to get a hold of me, the quickest, quickest means to do so is going to be email. Um, please allow up to four, 24 hours from, for the instructor to respond to your emails. I'm going to try my best to just, just answer you back as quickly as possible, but just allow me up to 24 hours Monday through Friday. And, and on weekends, I reserve the right not to answer until Monday. However, I'm going to try to be responsive because I know a lot of times you might be stuck on something or just really really need to get in touch with me. And I, I know how it is to be in your situation and, and to be you know be on be in the student seat as opposed to the instructor. So I want to be... I'm all, I want to be responsive to your needs, so just never hesitate to email me as, as I'll respond as quickly as possible. Um, some course policies. Everyone really needs to pay attention to these course policies because they're going to be observed strictly. So let's just make sure everyone's on the same page right now with the course policy, policies. Students who are enrolled in the in-class section of this course are required to attend class. Attendance will be taken at the beginning of each class. Any student that has more than three unexcused absences will be dropped from the course. So if you're in the in-class section, come to class. If you have an excused absence, that's one thing, and it must be documented um, from a reputable source, i.e. a doctor or something of that source. Um, I do not accept any late assignments. Anyone who does not turn their work in on time will receive a grade of zero on that assignment and will not be given the opportunity to make it up. And I'm going to be very strict on this. It's not fair to other students to do their work on time and then to have another student not do their work for whatever for whatever the circumstances are. Once again, we're all grown ups here. We all have a job to do. We're here to do a job. Let's get the job done within the parameters that the job's supposed to be done in and move on and just and and everyone will everyone will be happy. Um, however, it's unfortunate that we probably will have some offenders of this that are going to make up some excuses of whatever reason it might be while their while their work's late. But I'm just letting you know right now I'm not accepting it, um, and you're not going to have an opportunity to make it up. Do your work. I give plenty of time with the length of the assignments that they're that they're going to be assigned. Plenty of time from the time they're assigned to when they're due. So don't make excuses. It's much easier just to do your work than to try to think of excuses of why you didn't do your work. Do your work. Get it in. Do good quality work. And, and we'll ever, ever want to be good here. Any student that has not completed the assignments that are due by the end of the second week of class will be dropped from the course. 
A late exam will not be allowed unless there are extenuating circumstances with documentation. If you cannot be in class for the exam, contact me before so that arrangements can be made. If a student misses an exam for any reason, the instructor reserves the right to give a makeup exam of similar or different format during finals week. I will not review exams in class. You must come by my office if you have questions. This course will be taught using a mix of PowerPoint lecture and solving assigned homework. Next, next thing here, just important, I'll let you all read, read through it, but pretty much I'll read the little first sentence here just so you get an idea, but you, everyone needs to make sure they read through this. It's very important. If you have a documented excuse that you're unable to attend at the in-class sessions due to illness or other temporary emergency situation, um, for example, self-quarantining, travel restrictions, then you're still expected to complete all assignments by the deadlines. All assignments are going to be turned in via web on Moodle, so there, there's there's no no excuse for not having your assignments. If you have to be quarantined or anything, you can you can still keep up with the work. So I don't want that to be an excuse for why your why your work's not turning on time because it's it's not going to fly. Bottom line, just do your work, do good quality work, and do it on time. You'll have plenty of time to do so. Just just stay on top of it. One thing about college that it teaches people more than anything is time management. The amount of time that you have outside of class and in between classes is plenty of time to be able to do your work if you manage your time correctly. So my, my advice is learn how to manage your time now and it'll make life much easier later. Um, once again, this is Intermediate Accounting 1, Accounting 301. Um, this is our syllabus. Once again, read over it before you do any coursework. Just as a reminder, here is our Moodle shell for Intermediate Accounting 1 once again. Here is the link for the syllabus. Once again, read before starting coursework. The first week, remember, um, PowerPoint's already already available. The homework and quiz is not available yet. Once it's available, I will let everyone know, and you will have plenty of time to, to start on that. And once again, remember, very important, do the introduction post on the forum. Do the introduction post on the forum by the 22nd, by 11.59 p.m. And once again, this is so we can break the ice with one another, but more importantly, the college, the, the administration is tracking students to make sure they're coming to class and keeping up with their assignments. And this is how they're going to keep up with the financial aid disbursement. So if you need your financial aid and if you need to stay in this class, make sure you do this introduction post by the 22nd. You have plenty of time. It's by next Saturday and it won't take that long. Um, so once again, my name is Nathan Taylor. I'm your instructor. I hope everyone has had a good summer and everyone is looking forward to starting this semester. I look forward to working with everyone collectively and individually. And if anyone ha else has any, any questions or concerns of something I might not have covered during this introduction, please do not hesitate to email me at any, any time. Um, and like, I'm, he I'm here to be responsive to your needs. That's what I'm here for, is to help you and make sure you're learning the material that you're supposed to learn. So once again, I hope everyone has a good day. Everyone have a good weekend and be ready to start the content on Monday. Thank you.